Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Radio 2. This is lesson 27 of the 84 lessons that we're going to be having together for the rest of the year. We are still in the process of discussing practical programming and making content. This is part 10 of 15, and today we're going to be chatting about the importance of of show prep. We've spoken about this a couple of lessons back, but now we're going to dive deeper into the importance of preparing for your show. I know when you're listening to a fantastic three hours of a show, it might seem that everything is spontaneous and everything is so unplanned, but trust me, a lot goes into preparing for a three hour show. Why is prep crucial? A general would never go into battle without a plan. If you don't investigate how your opponents operate, if you don't investigate the caliber of people that you're going against, then you basically don't have a plan and you are walking into a war zone unprepared. The difference between good radio and great radio is planning and preparing to the best of your ability. Show prep is the most important weapon you have against boredom boring your listeners. The more you prep, the better your radio show sounds. Using humor. Humor always attracts listeners. Remember back when we started in Radio 2, we spoke about how you are the vessel of happiness for quite a lot of people who are waking up in the morning because a lot of people feel that their bosses are in control of their time. So if you give them hard laughter before they walk into the office, they definitely feel armed. Some people are funny, others may not be funny, but might have a great sense of humor. You can do show prep that improves the ability to be funny on air. You can learn to become a better storyteller as well. The more you do it, the better you become. Rules for powerful prep. Show prep can be found in various shapes and forms. How many sources of show prep can you think of? There are many elements and many sources of prep that exist that you can get information from, from your daily newspapers to some of your news outlets on social media, using social media itself, looking at trending topics, looking at Google trends, looking at certain subscription services that people read or are constantly uh, going through. So there are many, many sources of, of, of inspiration when it comes to content. So it's going to require you to be awake and alert and be quite deliberate about looking for great content. Go with the moment. If something spontaneous happens on air that is better than what you have prepared, then go with that. I always mention that somebody who was pretty great at being spontaneous whenever a moment arose is DJ Fresh. He's fantastic at that. I also mentioned that the likes of Robert Marawa, especially after a heavy sports weekend, if a you know, if a coach of a very a prominent soccer team had to retire at two o'clock in the afternoon, Robert Marawa would have that coach in studio at six o'clock when he goes live. Somebody who's fantastic at doing that is definitely Robert Marawa. Always ask why. Avoid slot filling. Always have a specific reason for wanting a guest. Make sure that you know why the guest is special and what purpose they fulfill. Don't promise them a whole hour. Use guests to spice up your show. The best guests are people who have personal experience with a story to tell. Don't just have guests for the sake of it. They take up a lot of your time that you could be using to come up with great content. Make sure that when you have a guest, it is for a purpose and a reason. Warning to managers. Managers feel comfortable seeing people working. The only hard rule for powerful radio is be prepared and on time for your show. What listeners respond to is the finished product. Our product is what comes out of the speakers on the radio. Our preparation is real, but often invisible. Uh, I make mention of this quite a lot, chatting about the importance of preparation. Having worked with the likes of Anelim Dota, she is an avid 
prepper, you will not leave the prep room without knowing what is happening tomorrow in the following show. That is why she is one of the most iconic radio broadcasters that we have in this country. So preparation is not something that people see. Sometimes it might take the same amount of time as the actual radio show the following day, but it is crucial, invisible, real, and crucial. Be prepared. Carry a recording device, camera or notebook at all times. Great ideas come in the shower, the car, um, and even when you know you wake up in the middle of the night. You need to write them down. Um, I remember a good friend of mine, also a brilliant broadcaster, as well, is saying to me, you constantly need to be jotting down uh, some of the ideas that you have because you tend to forget them. Something might spark your brain when you're out with friends, when you're sleeping or when you're taking a shower. Always make sure that you jot it down. So what I have done on my phone is I am alone in a WhatsApp group. I added my partner and then removed him again. And every time I think of something, every time something creative happens or I read an interesting story, I'll literally either take a screen grab of it, of it or even type it out in my content WhatsApp group by myself so that whenever I get home and, I, and I'm prepping for the show the following day, I actually have some content base to work from. So always make sure you carry a notebook or you send yourself voice notes um, on WhatsApp or you carry a camera, you know, where something interesting could be happening in order to ensure that you utilize all the content that you come across and that you don't forget it. Make friends out of the business. Spend time with normal people. Talk to everyone. Find out what they are thinking, you know, worrying about and talking about. It will help your show. Uh, one of my big, biggest weaknesses was that I'm not necessarily somebody that goes out. I'm not necessarily somebody that um, is very active and is very outgoing. So you'll find that I've got a very boring life. And that doesn't make a great broadcaster because you need life experiences to chat about on air. So going out and experimenting and seeing things and experiencing things is very important in order for you to come back the following day with brilliant experiences that you would like to share with your listeners. So live a little have friends outside of your work environment, have experiences outside of your working environment so you can give your listeners great, amazing, awesome content. Know your targets, know your audience, be around them and talk to them. Take a test drive, discuss show ideas with somebody else. Prep is much easier when you have people to discuss it with. Because sometimes you might think that you've got a brilliant idea, but perhaps if you share it with one of your members in your team, or perhaps you share it with your programming manager, they can help you come up with a better angle to execute that content, or you could build even more from it. It could start from something so small and it, become, it can become such a fantastic content piece. Prep warning. Do not do your show before the show. Don't rehearse it. Save your actual performance for the microphone. It will never sound as good as the second time around. If you keep rehearsing it, you lose the spark. You lose the excitement of telling the story. So definitely prep it. Know exactly what you're going to be chatting about. But don't over rehearse it because you'll miss the moment when it happens on air. Pre-produce. Prepare the soundtrack for your show, any bits, music, et cetera, that you think might you might want to use. So, for instance, if you've got a story to tell, um, you could literally, for instance, you could have a content piece about whether it is right to turn over your colleague's contract and see how much they earn. The story could begin with footsteps. You could ask your technical producer to get you a, a sound clip of footsteps walking towards a printer. You can also get, um, you know, a sound clip of the printer printing out papers, right? Then you could grab those papers from the printer. We could have suspense music and we could wonder whether you're going to turn over the contract to see how much your colleague earns. It, it's a, it's a, all you wanted to do really was just to print out your documents, but you end up coming across your colleague's contract. What do you do next? Right? So if you prep this content, you're able to fill in your technical producer about some of the sound bits that you would want to make the story interesting. We spoke about how when you are a radio presenter, you need to paint a picture for your listener. And what helps with painting a picture for your listener is definitely the little audio bits that you can incorporate in your storytelling. 
Double check. Before you go on air with a topic, ask, is it relevant? Does it matter? Do you care? Do your listeners care? What will I do if the topic gets boring? Do I have a fallback plan? Remember, guys, sometimes you might think that a story might sound absolutely fantastic when you're discussing it with your friends, but it could fall flat. So perhaps you might need a fallback plan. Be generous. If you have found a topic that would work for somebody else, you need to pass it on. If you have a guest that you think might better be suited for another radio show, then pass it on. The success of your station depends on the efforts that all of the creative members of the station uh, put in. So the more you share ideas, the more you in incorporate um, each other in each other's shows, you know, having a breakfast show host speak to a drive time host and vice versa, playing challenges against each other. The more that is done, the better it is for the station. Experiment. Break rules if you can come up with the more successful method. Take what works for you and then you leave the rest. All you need is that one moment. Surfing the web. Part of your job is surfing the web. The internet is a wealth of information and a source of material for every show. News sites, blogs, social media trends, etc. Some options. Google Trends and Google Insights that we spoke about earlier. Twitter Trends with TrendsMap.com, Yahoo, Local News, and the list goes on. Tale of Total Show Prep. However you research your content, it is important to put it in the correct prep time. Prep and topic selection. If the on-air personality is genuinely interested in the topic, it will work better. Broadcasters organize their show prep in different ways. There's no right way, just the way it works for you. So you'll find that a lot of people's show prep, there's no standard show prep a template that uh, presenters use, they all work differently for different presenters. So find the one if you are a producer that works for your specific presenter. Dig deep for talkable topics or engaging questions. Remember to look beyond page one for the stories. Take notes from conversations you've had or overheard. Try to come up with at least one story observation from your own life uh, for each show. Let's look at some prep methods. Show prep is usually a team effort and not a task assigned to just one person. And as much as the content producer is the one responsible for making sure that the content is prepped and comes up with the content, it is definitely a team effort to ensure that that content makes sense and is relatable to the presenter and the rest of your audience. Review. Show prep begins with a review, air check or snoop of the previous program. It will never happen before your actual show. Once a week is good. Update. The producer updates the team on new material that has arrived, either from publications, radio services, the internet, press releases, etc. It is also good to look at upcoming major news, sports and show business events. Sources. Some teams hire writers who will generate exclusive material for their shows. Topics. Decide on a list of topics for the day's program and assign priority. Gather information about items that have caught your attention. Production. Pre-recorded material may include interviews with guests not available to do it live, or the street interviews, musical experts, sound effects, novelty voices, feature intros and outros, and highlights from previous programs. Schedule. Schedule the program elements on paper. Make sure everyone is involved and make sure they get a copy. Each program should be planned in quarter hour segments. Archives. An essential part of show prep is the maintenance of complete and accurate files. Include the following. A file of previous daily program schedules, copies of scripts and program ideas, uh, background material by subject, as well as audio files. Be selective. It is great to have 10 fabulous ideas for a show, but you might need only four. Think about your listeners and what they would find the most interesting. Three subject areas listeners always respond to are stories about health, heart, and pocketbook. Howard Price uses the following criteria for topic selection. What's in it 
for me, the listener. Every day, ask questions. Have the vision and vigilance to spot trends, take risks, and exploit opportunities. Will people expect us to cover this? People care about things that are close to them, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually. Use radio's immediacy. Use the news. Have a friend who has a friend. Get a life. People want more than just hardcore facts. The real challenge of creating powerful radio is making it work on those days when nothing is happening. Use your own life experiences here. We, as South Africa, have had quite a vast array of stories that we can select from for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I mean, we always have a load shedding as a topic. We've had the Minister of Electricity as a topic. We've had Tabo Besta and Dr. Nandipa in our news. We've had Prime Energy Drink as something that's trending in the country. And the list goes on. We are privileged as a country to always have news and things to talk about. But there will come a week or two when there isn't really much to chat about. And this is where you as a presenter need to tap into your own life experiences. Look inward. Try using stories you have heard from family members or friends. Big ears and eyes. Sometimes you may overhear usable material. Bring an idea to work. Create powerful brainstorming sessions, especially with your team. During the brainstorm, there must be no judgment of ideas. No evaluation or criticism is allowed. Freewheeling is allowed and encouraged. The wilder and more outrageous the idea, the better. Look for quantity rather than quality. Try to end up with a long list of ideas in brainstorming. Quantity produces quality. Combine ideas. Make use of each idea better. In this case, only positive building is allowed. Every idea must be written down. If you choose to not write something down, you will have judged it, which violates the first rule. Every person taking part in the brainstorm is equal in rank. There are no bosses, no leaders, no hierarchy. It is important to realize that when people are brainstorming and are sharing their ideas, they genuinely think that the ideas are great and fantastic. However, if you are the team member that constantly wants to bash someone else's ideas, then it's not going to be productive. And what ends up happening is you end up closing off the individual to now share the ideas because they now feel that the ideas will never be good enough to be in the brainstorming session. So make sure that everybody is on the same play field and everybody is of equal ranking. Carry a recording device and camera at all times. Read everything, watch everything, learn your computer and all your equipment, answer your own telephone and talk to listeners, hang out with normal people, seize the moment, create talk. Always remember these three words, preparation, concentration and moderation. Key lecture points. Show prep is essential. If the talent is prepared, they can do a great show. The best personalities compile a stack of material from information sources and use stories from their own life. Creative talent is consistently doing show prep. Humor always attracts listeners. Comedy emerges from specifics. Tell your truth. Seize the moment. Always carry a recording device. That wraps up our lesson for today. So what I'm going to need you to do for our next lesson is to send information about different subjects that you come across that you believe would be interesting to hear about on radio. And we will discuss these in detail and see how we can turn them around for fantastic teasers and performances on a radio show. If you have any questions, feel free to email me on nontlantlak at boston.co.za or you can contact me in our WhatsApp group, Radio 2. I'm always available there. Otherwise, see you on the other side.